Welcome to Arvion. Today we explore a breakthrough from India that could change the balance of technology, defense, and space exploration. Scientists at IIT Jodhpur have developed a new alloy called TIALCA. It is being called a supermetal. What makes it so special? It is ultralight, ultra tough, and resistant to extreme heat. Tests show it can handle temperatures up to 900 degrees centigrade. That is hotter than most jet engines and rocket systems normally withstand. To understand why this matters, let us compare it with the strongest materials in the world today. Titanium has long been the king of aerospace materials. It is strong, light, and corrosion resistant. Its melting point is about 1,670 degrees, but performance drops sharply above 600 degrees. That is why turbine blades in jet engines rarely use pure titanium. Aluminum is another aerospace favorite. It is even lighter than titanium, with a density of about 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter but its melting point is only 660 degrees. For lightweight structures, it is perfect. But for extreme heat, it fails quickly. Then we have nickel-based superalloys. These are the workhorses of modern jet engines. They can operate close to 1,000 degrees and sometimes higher with coatings. They resist creep, fatigue, and oxidation but they are heavy, expensive, and hard to machine. Now enter India's Thai Al CA. It combines the lightweight nature of aluminum and titanium with high temperature strength similar to super alloys. It survives at 900 degrees and still retains strength. That places it directly between titanium and nickel super alloys, offering the best of both worlds. The implications are huge. Aircraft could fly longer with less fuel. Rockets could be lighter and carry more payload. Defense systems could resist heat and stress during combat. Even nuclear reactors and electric vehicles could benefit from its unique properties. But let us not stop here. Think geopolitics. Only a few countries dominate advanced materials. The United States, Russia and China. Now India is joining this exclusive club. For decades, India has been dependent on imports for defense technology. But this discovery signals that the nation is no longer just a buyer. It is becoming a creator. The aerospace materials market itself is projected to reach $62 billion by 2030. If India can scale production of TLCA, it could capture a major share of this market. That means exports, global partnerships, and a strong position in the global supply chain. Of course, challenges remain. Lab success is not the same as battlefield or space success. Super alloys took decades to refine for turbines. TLK must prove itself in real world conditions against creep, fatigue, long-term heat cycles and manufacturing costs. But if India succeeds, the rewards are massive. Imagine a new generation of fighter jets powered by Indian materials. Imagine space missions that rely on homegrown alloys. Imagine India supplying the world with materials that are lighter, stronger and tougher than anything in the market. The world runs on materials. Steel created the Industrial Revolution. Silicon created the Information Age. Now supermetals like Thai Alcia may create the next age, the age of space and defense dominance. So the question is simple. Will TLKA make India a superpower in material science? Or will rivals race ahead to develop something even stronger? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below.
and subscribe to Arvion for more documentaries on geopolitics, defense, and science shaping our future. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay aware, stay curious, and keep questioning.